time to clear out some spent flowers. So I am not pulling their root system out of the ground, but I am cutting with some pruners. I'm just cutting them at the ground level. And what this does is it allows all the beneficial microbes to continue their work, nourishing and nurturing the root system. So when I plant seeds here, that little um, group of, that little ecosystem is going to come along and give that new plant a healthy start. When we remove a plant by its roots, um, we're actually taking away a good chunk of that diverse ecosystem that's really helpful for um, letting the plant accept nutrients and uh, just have a good foundation for a healthy and fertile life. And I will show you this bed that I have done this with and I came along and planted Mexican sunflower seeds a few weeks ago in um, in their place or beside the old zinnias that were here so you can see how they're taking off. So what is happening here where the old root system was is it's slowly decomposing and the microbes are still there uh, doing their thing but what's also happening is the roots that are under the soil are aerating the soil and we need oxygen um, in our soil. We don't need compacted soil. So this is another great thing as this decomposes, the roots become hollow and they become air tunnels. Um, so this is basically another version of composting in place. 